Oh, looking good, Jane. My eggs or my, uh... You know what? Forget it. I'm flattered either way. Well, you've got some good follicles to work with here. Great. Oh, um, just FYI, I didn't know that you'd be the one doing the uh, ultrasound today. I'm usually a lot more groomed. Oh, I don't notice anything like that. Oh, phew. <laughs> Except feet. What? So, in two nights' time, you are going to do your trigger shot to release the eggs, and you'll come back here and we'll suck them out. Awesome. I cannot wait to lay my eggs. You're not laying them. We're extracting them. She's pregnant. Debatable. Yes, she's pregnant. That's why they wanted to get together. You don't know that. She wasn't drinking last time I saw her because of a life insurance medical. She's pregnant. Mm -hmm. You two think you know everything and you don't. We're pregnant! Oh. <laughs> Again! <laughs> it's a boy. Can my guy swim or what? <laughs> We're going to have a million dollar family now, just like you, Lee. My kids both have the chicken pox, so. <laughs> oh, and this is just sparkling water, so. <laughs> Should we get some champagne? Celebrate? Because I'm going to need a lot to drink tonight. <laughs> Boy, girl, I'm going to get the doctor to snip me right there in the delivery room. <laughs> yeah, we need a sperm donor. Oh, no, no, we don't want your sperm. Or yours. Not that it's not great. I'm sure it's great. Your kids are great. <laughs> Just uh, going to get a rando from a catalog. We ready to order? Yeah, the, the fish isn't raw, right? It's fully cooked. And the fish and chips? Mm. And the cheese, it's pasteurized? I think so. I'm gonna need you to make sure. Because I'm expecting. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> what OB do you use? Because mine is always running behind. Oh, I love mine so much. She says vajayjay. No. Is that a good thing? So I've got a great new business idea for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Custom granola. Like people go online and they pick and choose what they want. Really? Yeah, but we don't really know anything about granola. Yeah, but it, it'll be called G and G Muesli Factory. Right? I'm 100% in, ma'am. Thank you. Do you want to get together with the kids tomorrow? I would love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, can I'd we love come? To. We would love to see the kids. Oh my God, of course. Yeah. Yeah, we'll text you tomorrow. <laughs> So, Lisa, mm -hmm. what kind of yogurt do you buy? Because the one that I've been getting has food dye. Oh, I don't buy yogurt anymore. I make it myself. You do? Yeah, I found this wicked easy recipe. I can send it to you. But how do you know that it's it? sterile? Oh, yeah. What about chia pudding? OK, well, I'm into this new thing. But just this, the water yeah. on the top of the yogurt. Oh, you like that? <laughs> just the water? Yeah, you mix it. And I have this coconut flavored yogurt that I love. Oh, my god. Yeah. God, I That's hate yogurt. So why? So happy all of you could join us this evening. Infertility is really painful, OK? So let's share that burden together, OK? Who would like to go first? Ah, yes. My best friend just got pregnant by accident. She's mad because I'm not acting happy enough for her. I've been trying to have a baby longer than she's known her husband. All right. Friends, pregnancy announcements can be very, very hard. Yes. I can't handle baby showers. I've had to tell all my friends what I'm going through so they know why I can't come or chip in for the diaper cake. All right. Yeah, well, it's important to practice self-care when you're struggling with infertility. Does anyone? Else want to share? Maybe. No. Okay. Oh, yes, it's uh, Jenna. Jenna. Okay. Um, I actually got pregnant with my first really easily, but struggled with a second. I was diagnosed with polycystic ovaries, and my doctor told me that I would have to have treatment to get pregnant. Just uh, the idea of putting all of those hormones into my body. Ugh. It just didn't feel right. So I started looking into fertility diets and practicing fertility yoga. And um, guess what, you guys? I'm pregnant! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, wait, what, what did she just say? 
I'm pregnant. All on my own. <laughs> What's happening right now? So don't stop believing, okay? Miracles happen. What the fuck is going on right now? You can cure your infertility. No, actually, I don't think you can. Okay, start each day with a gratitude practice. Every Shut morning- Shut up. I Shut up. Every decision I make feels weighted and serious and, God, I wanna try yoga. I do, but I'm scared that all the bending is gonna damage my eggs. And, and I tried acupuncture, but it made me feel nauseous and I was afraid of taking the, the gravel. And then my friend sent me this email linking GMOs to infertility, which I thought was fucking crazy. But, but of course, I spent a fucking mortgage payment on kale and kale-related products and, God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired from all the medication and, and I just rest and then I get so scared about all the blood flow to my uterus so I, I'm jogging and then I just, I don't know what to do so I just stand there. I stand there in fucking warrior pose and I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. I don't even have sex anymore. I really love having sex. My husband's really hot. Yeah. Um, is there anyone else who'd like to share or? I actually started my own fertility nutrition business now. I'm hoping to bring no. my success to other women. Nope. I have specials, bring a friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am. I was really harsh, Jenna. Maybe, maybe go home and take okay. a bath, honey. Okay. A little bit of self-care, right, everyone? How'd it go? We all cured. Jane. We have to do the trigger shot. Sorry. You're just obsessed with my ass. I am obsessed with your ass. This one is in your stomach though. I love you. Yep.